Good afternoon, and welcome to another segment of the Worth Report for January 2nd. Keep America vigilant to 23. Catch up. Welcome back, everyone, and a very happy new year. Let's catch up on what we missed while I was out. Kerry Lake's election lawsuit in Arizona was dismissed, but it's not over yet, as a recount adds hundreds of votes to Abe Hamaday in the attorney general race when he was only down by about 500 to begin with. The corrupt January 6th committee transcripts reveal Ray Epps admitted to orchestrating the incident that day. McCarthy still lacks the votes for House Speaker tomorrow as politicians are receiving threats for holding out. The mandate of a kill switch on all new vehicles was buried in the corrupt infrastructure bill. Bolsonaro rules out military intervention in Brazil. More Twitter files reveal other government agency involvement in censoring Americans. And that the fake Biden administration pressed Twitter to wrongfully manipulate the debate on COVID-19 to suit the establishment narrative. And Elon Musk promises Fauci files later this week. First, to the corrupt January 6th committee, which released interviews that took place over the last two years last week, including their interview with suspected FBI plant Ray Epps. During the interview, Epps is questioned regarding a series of text messages with his 28-year-old nephew, particularly on January 6th. According to the document, around 9 a.m., Epps received a text from his nephew that read, You and Jim be safe. Then, at 2.12 p.m., Epps texts back, quote, I was in the front with a few others. I also orchestrated it. From this point on, we're not allowed to say or show you what we're about to on this platform, or we'll almost certainly be punished for it. Please, join us for the rest of this segment at theworthreport.com for only $1.99 a month or $15 for an annual subscription. Your support helps us do what we do. See you there.